Guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you what you should do in case you did not receive Instagram confirmation code. If this happens to you that you want to confirm your account or something, but the SMS text message did not arrive, then I'm going to show you what to do. There are possible fixes for it depending on what's causing it. The first could be the focus or do not disturb mode because chances are it's kind of likely for me. For example, if I swipe down right here, you can see my focus mode is here. And if I have it enabled like this and I have it set to block all unknown senders. So that means that nobody who's not in my like favorites or um, contact list that I want to receive text messages from, it means that I'm not going to receive any notification. And that is uh, the problem because of course you may be waiting for it, but your iOS focus mode, do not disturb or whichever of these you have turned on is simply blocking all of the stuff. Speaking of notifications, it can also happen to you that for your notifications, they are disabled. So in here in the settings, navigating to the notification section, you can scroll down to find the messages. So you can see FaceTime and it's sorted alphabetically. So messages, I have it uh, turned on. So allow notifications has to be enabled, preferably immediate delivery. And you can also choose from this kind of stuff, but make sure that the notifications can get to you. So you can be notified right away when you receive the confirmation code. The next thing, of course, would be, and this is like an obvious tip, that would be to go right away to the messages. Because, of course, the notifications may be delayed for some reason, or it may happen that you did not receive them because of the do not disturb or the notification blocks or whatever. So whenever you're waiting for the confirmation code, go to the settings right away and expect the message right here. So just wait for it and it should appear somewhere at the top. You should be able to click on it and copy the code and paste it to Instagram. So yeah, the tip would be to just hang out in the messages app and wait for the uh, message, the notification to appear right there. Another possible problem could be uh, that your filtering is enabled elsewhere. So if you go to the uh, settings and scroll down to find messages, for me, I don't have it set up on this iPhone. So let me show it to you on a different one. So coming back, not in the notification section, but instead right here, uh, as a standalone messages. So I have it like this and all the stuff is set up, but you could have the filter unknown senders enabled. So this option is going to sort messages from people who are not in your contacts into a separate list. So when this is enabled, it's going to be like sorted differently. So in the messages, you now have filters and you have known senders and unknown senders. And the unknown senders section is probably where the Instagram confirmation code is going to appear. So that's how this stuff works. But my personal recommendation would be to disable the filtering filtering altogether. You probably don't need this. And if you use it, just make sure to find it somewhere in, in here. Just keep that in mind. Filtering is a real thing for messages. Disable it if you don't want to use it at all or know where you can find the actual confirmation code. Another idea or another thing you should try out is adding the phone number to your contacts list. I know it's probably not the best idea, but whenever you receive a text message from us, it's going to be like a short number that you received the text from. You can actually add that as your contact information or like a different contact person. You can add it to your contacts list. And from this point on, your iPhone is going to recognize it as someone you know and someone you perhaps trust. And then those notifications will be like prioritized maybe a bit depending on the setting of your iPhone or you're going to be able to see them easily because iPhone is going to think it's your friend or something. And I know it's not probably the best way because the numbers change from which you get the like confirmation codes. So that's uh, probably not the best idea, but I kind of thought to mention it because it may help someone. And if you want to use it, just go ahead. And then we have only the basic troubleshooting. So you can also just reset it, the iPhone. You can restart it like this. You can slide to power it off. You can, um, force restarted if something happens or you can even erase your all content and settings in case you feel like you have many problems with your iPhone that could do it just back up your iPhone beforehand and then restore it from the backup so these are like the things you should try out and things that could theoretically help you with a problem so that would be about it hope the video helped you out for more tutorials like this make sure to subscribe to fox tech and also check out the next video right here thanks a lot for watching guys see you guys later